On a shelf of a bookstore in Matsusaka City, Mie Prefecture, sits a book entitled They Called My Newborn Son a Clown. The author is The Clown's Mother. This is the pen name of Yui Hamaguchi, who resides in Matsusaka. Yui's son, Gaku, was born in December 2016. He was immediately diagnosed with an incurable skin condition called harlequin ichthyosis. In her book, she records her first reaction to him. Ichthyosis is a congenital disorder which causes the skin over the whole body to dry up and peel off like fish scales. Harlequin ichthyosis is an especially serious form of ichthyosis. There is no official count in Japan, but it is estimated that one in 300,000 suffers from this disorder. When Gaku was born, he was not breathing. Doctors noted his overall skin abnormality, finger adhesion, and misshapen ears. He was moved directly to the NICU. The name of this disorder comes from the markings that made him look like he was dressed as a clown. What is Gaku like today? <laughs> this is her son, Gaku. <laughs> His skin's ability to retain moisture is almost completely gone and itching is pervasive. Because his skin's ability to ward off germs and viruses is extremely weak, they must frequently cover him in petroleum jelly to prevent infections. Even in summer, they dress him in long-sleeved shirts and long pants. He wears straps on his feet to help with the hardening of his skin and deformity in his feet. Yui says that there are times she has felt nearly suffocated by the unfeeling stares of strangers. この this couple had this book published last year because they wanted people to learn even a little about this disorder. Gaku was born at the Mie Chuo Medical Center in Tsu City. According to Dr. Ogawa, Gaku's doctor, あの、あの、
、そういったものが皮膚の病気の方は、やはりどうしてもこの消費してしまうと、あのやはり栄養をしっかりと補っていかないと、あの状態をあの保てませんので。あれあ<笑> Besides moisture for his skin, he must receive a sufficient amount of nutrients. <laughs> Gaku's daily caloric requirement equals that of an adult male. More than 2,400 calories, they say. その日の皮膚の落ち方とか、皮膚の調子によっても食べる量と飲む量も変わってくるんですけど、まあ、大体 6, 6食から10食ぐらい食べる時もあって。朝昼晩の三回のご飯だけじゃ到底足りなくて、ご飯の間にもおにぎり食べたりとか。The most difficult time is the initial moment of his twice a day baths. そんなに書いたらお風呂しみちゃうよ Once out of his bath, he needs moisturizer. They must cover him in petroleum jelly from head to toe several times a day. This amounts to one to two tubes a day. 病気自体があの完治するわけではありませんので、あのその後もずっとあの保湿ケアは続けていく必要があります。初めての十三キロ、イエーイ。よかったね。<笑> In her book, Yui writes about when he was born. There wasn't a single patch of normal skin anywhere on his body. His ongoing daily treatments require patience and tenacity. In spring 2020, Gaku entered kindergarten. It was a big step forward. <laughs> They enrolled him in a nearby kindergarten. がまあ入園するにあたって、まあ私たちも初めてのことばっかりでということで、えー、まあ皆さんもいろいろなあお家を拝見あ,あの拝借しながらというふうに思っております。On this day, the teachers have gathered here for a workshop to prepare for Gaku's enrollment. 必ずこう給食の前とかにアルコール消毒とかするんですけども、はい、で机もこうしっかりアルコール消毒するんですけども、はい、その辺はどうシュッシュッてやるアルコールだと、はい、すごくやっぱいただってしまう。はい
一番硬くて一番動かして一番ちょっとダメージのある指先っていうのがシュッっていうタイプのやつだと痛がるんですけどシートのアルコール除菌あれだとそこまで痛がらないなんか文句は言うんですけど。<笑> The teachers learned how to cover his body with petroleum jelly, as well as the amount of food he should be given. The first day of school is cloudless. Not the best weather for Gaku. Ultraviolet rays are his nemesis. 20 minutes in the sun is his limit. Still, they walk to his kindergarten. Until today, Gaku has had almost no contact with anyone outside of his family. However, not long after this, the kindergarten closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Then, two months later. The kindergarten reopened in June. Bye -bye. While he is here, the teachers will make sure his skin is moisturized. They will also determine whether he can play outdoors. It is the beginning of many little challenges that Gaku must overcome. ま、少しずつその自分の病気を理解して病気はもう感知はできないとは言われてるのでうまく向き合ってうまく付き合って楽しく育てくれればなとは思ってるんですけど<笑>